Hi everyone, this is Greg Hanson with 31 Events, July, excuse me, August 18th. This is, I think, the fifth video. Final recap should be fun, I hope, for you. It certainly will be for me. I'm very excited about this technology that is running on Amazon Web Services for calendar reporting and uh, web email marketing. Um, let's get going. So, uh, this documentation can be found at 31events.com. You click and essentially splash back over to Calendar Snack. And under Calendar Snack, there's a documentation tab in which Arnie McKinnis, my teammate, has set up for us. I followed his exact instructions. And if you follow these, very simple overall, less than 10 minutes to kind of set up and get running. Essentially, what you're going to do is build a uh, calendar invitation form using uh, something like WordPress and Elementor as an optional plugin to build out a form that becomes a calendar invitation. So that said, I followed his instructions. I received a calendar um, event ID. I took that calendar event ID and I buried it here in this form simply as a UID, real simple concept. This is done all the time, thousands of times a day across the globe building web forms. So if you're a builder, you understand this stuff. If you're not, you're gonna have to educate yourself a bit. It's pretty easy. Soon we'll have modals, so it will step over this build phase. But for the builder, we think this is the best way to kind of go, and it's, it's a lot better for really an advanced uh, HTML or website builder. Uh, you guys know who you are and gals. Um, and I took this uh, information, my uh, simple UID uh, that received here, that I came off this documentation and followed exactly how to do per Arnie. And I took that ID embedded here, and the end result was this page. And this web form page I have um, set up for calendar invitations to be sent. I sent off four um, separate emails in which I'm going to show you the live reporting on. So this live reporting is for this event here. And this event is for November 22nd, 10 a.m. And it's for uh, 2018. You'll see the four invitations that were sent off of this form. I put in their names in the previous video. You saw that if you're watching the videos. And they went to Chris, Greg, Sam, and Tom. Currently, the three that said no, Chris, Sam, and Tom, and Greg has said maybe. Now I'm gonna go to those, those personas in a different tab, this tab here. So if you're with me, this is tabbed out or pimped out. Um, these tabs represent the various personas of Tom, Sam, Greg, um, and Chris. And here I'm in Tom's persona. You'll see Thanksgiving Day, the 22nd of November. I've gone to his persona. He said maybe. I'm going to change him to a no. It's going to show a quick line outline. The desktop. A uh, calendar client, much like a mobile phone client, is communicating with our Amazon Web Service on a per event basis that we set up to communicate for this reporting tab over here, which you see here. And it's counting now live. So let's go check Tom. So Tom obviously is still here. Um, we send him an invite, right? You saw Tom here. And then you see um, Tom showing up as a no. So I just showed you that live. Tom switched from a maybe or a yes to a no. You saw that? That's pretty cool. Let's try another one under the personas in the calendars. So again, these are different calendar personas I'm representing here for the test. This one is Sam. Sam uh, is identified as a yes. I'm going to say he's back to a maybe. He's unsure about his family invitation for Thanksgiving. How do I know that? Well, let's see what Sam did here in the event summary. I go to refresh live off of Amazon Web Services, counting the buckets. And obviously we sent to Sam. Sam now is, guess what, a maybe. He's not sure about travel, possibly, and or he's not gonna show up to your event, right? So that's a live uh, update. Let's go try another one here. We'll take on the persona of who? We'll take on the persona of Chris at Tech Vader. Here's Chris at Tech Vader. He was a absolutely no. Chris now is saying, I think I'm going to come to your event now. This uh, calendar client 
onto this persona. Chris at Tech Vader's taken on communication with a bucket service at Amazon that we've built at 31 events. We said, yes, it's communicating. You see it did. I go back to the summary. I hit refresh. Obviously, Chris was sent an invitation, but he's changed it. What's going on with Chris? Uh, Chris is saying yes now. Pretty cool, right? So uh, that's a pretty good over test. I think I got one more, and that is Greg Hanchin at 31 events. Let's give him a try. Um, that's actually me in the real world. So here I am, uh, a different domain. Uh, it's not TechVader now, it's a different domain, but it's still a Google uh, calendar and client, fat client uh, on a Mac OS. And we support Google uh, across PC, obviously, and Mac today since they're web services and across any mobile phone. Uh, anything using Google, we do support and we're counting the calendar invitations and the creation of the calendar invites via our technology. So that said, uh, you see it Thursday, 22nd November, click here. I was a maybe, I'm gonna say yes. We'll see if it updated and that will conclude our summary for today in our videos. Uh, obviously Greg was sent originally. I just switched Greg to, guess what? A yes, so Greg's going. So pretty cool. That completes the demo series for, get it right, let's see here, August 18th, 2018. Hope you enjoyed our beta as we move down uh, full uh, shipping product. This is obviously our release product for embeds for web. Um, this technology will be ported to an API in which we will have documentation on, which will support the APIs for the MailChimp embeds and uh, Eloqua and numerous other third-party primary emails to do RSVP invitation embeds into call to actions for any email platform where you just click one button and the calendar invitation is sent to you. So that concludes my day. Enjoy and thanks for stopping by.